I found something huge today on my first day back at work, and I'm really excited to show it to you guys because, as you know, I'm very, very interested in finding all the best EMR tips and tricks or little tools that can make your day more efficient. And so I'm always on the lookout for a good toolbar, smart phrase, or summary tab, or thing like that that can make your day more efficient. And I don't know when this came into being, it seems like it's fairly recent, but somebody made this thing called the Catch All Accordion. Um, it can also be found under Labs Accordion. And obviously this is gonna vary based on your specific institution, whether you have this or not. But it is powerful to know that Epic actually is able to design something like this. And what it really does is it's, it's basically pulling in every single result that the patient has had. It's sorted all by one day. So all of these are just um, one day uh, in terms of their results, but you can you know make it eight hours or four hours if you want a little bit more of a granular look, um, for example. But what I really like about this one is Getting that one day view of a patient's entire hospital stay can really give you a really good picture of how they've been uh, progressing throughout their hospital stay. So for example, here, these are all by one day. I know that the patient was admitted on this day here. And then uh, basically, you know, we can tell already that they've been admitted here for 10 days, for example. I can see here that they've gotten some blood transfusions. Um, they had an ABG drawn at some point. Uh, probably they're hypoxic here. And here we can very easily see the results trends of, for example, their sodium. So came in hyponatremic, lasted for several days, but uh, recently it's been getting back to normal. And that's a really nice trend to be able to just very clearly see. And I, to me, this is a little bit superior compared to the results review. Uh, the results review, you can't see nearly as many days as this one. In order to trend things, you need to kind of click on that little box that like pulls everything up, or you gotta like get rid of all these other, there's like a lot of blank spaces in the results review. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but instead having everything by one day, I feel like gives you a lot more of a clear picture of when the lab was drawn. And it's not as confusing to look at as results review. I think review, results review, if you really want a granular look of like exactly what time a, a lab was drawn, then that can be useful. But for me, I'm, I'm thinking that I might start just using this catch-all accordion or this labs accordion. Um, so again, like just look at the power of this, 0 0.7 creatinine when they came in, and you can just see the trend, uh, pretty stable up until the last couple days, now developing an AKI. Initially came in hypoglycemic, stabilized a little bit, still on the low side, uh, had another episode of hypoglycemia, now kind of stabilizing again. Just such a nice and easy way to understand what's going on with this patient. And it goes further than that. So of course we've got all the labs here, right? We've got everything you, you could possibly want for. You know, they check the A1C, they check the BNP really high. CBC is here developing a leukocytosis. Hemoglobin's been kind of like uh, on the low side uh, persistently. But it even goes into all your micro data too. And the great thing about this is in this, uh, unlike other summary tabs where you can't actually access the data, um, I could just very easily click. You can see that all of these are clickable. So you can just open this up right away and see immediately what the result was. So for example, this blood culture that was drawn on this day, I could open it up if there was something positive there. Um, you can see it even pulled up. There's some, you know, strep pneuma was positive. This was about when the patient uh, was having the hypoxemia and got that ABG drawn. So we know they have strep pneumo pneumonia just from looking at, you know, you know, five seconds looking at this tab. You can see on the day of admission, all of the imaging they got, and it's all easily accessible for you right here. And you can tell exactly when in the patient's hospital course it was drawn. So, um, you know, their pelvis, chest, femur, hip, knee, you know, basically pan scanned their whole body. So they must've come in as some kind of trauma patient initially. You've got their EKG. You can see they got an echo on this day. And so you can just open this up from right here and even got a kidney ultrasound here. This is just a very, very powerful summary tab. And I am so glad that I found this and whoever made this, kudos to you for making this because this is so great. And it's kind of been what I've been wanting for quite a while. Um, we actually had access to something like this at Kaiser when we were working at Kaiser, it was called the quick look. So if you're working at Kaiser, you will probably be able to find something similar to this. 
And for me, what I'm going to do now is I am hopefully going to reach out to the EMR team at Davis and see if I can add some more things that uh, I find useful as well. For example, the patient's uh, vitals and kind of graphs of their vital trends over time. And then also adding in some common medications, like uh, all the antibiotics they may have received or when they receive certain doses of Lasix, Lasix or other diuretics. And then also uh, what I really like is nutrition at the very bottom, seeing what diet they're on, uh, how much of their meals did they eat? Did they eat 25%, 75%, 100%? And then also their stools. Uh, have they had a stool uh, and bowel movement yet? Was it loose? Was it formed? For example, those are all some of the things that I would like to add here. And by doing that, I think we can make a really, really comprehensive uh, overview of the patient that is just a lot more powerful than the results review itself, which again, as I mentioned, can sometimes seem a little bit clunky. So I'm really excited that I found this today. Uh, it's my first day back at work and somehow I was gifted with coming across this uh, today and I was very, very excited about it. I highly encourage you to see if you have something similar in your hospital system yourself. And let me know in the comments below if you think this is better than the results review um, and this is like more clear and easy to kind of digest what, what's going on with the patient or if you're still somebody who prefers to use results review instead. For me, I feel like this may replace place a very vast majority of my results review usage. I think for new results that are coming in, I'll still use results review, but just to get a very broad overview of what's going on with the patient, this tab is incredibly powerful and I'm very excited to use it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.